Okay, how's it going guys? It's Philip, um, and I just wanted to talk to you today because I've been getting a lot of questions about what type of brushes, what types of paper, what types of paint I've been using, and um, I thought YouTube would probably be, probably be the best uh, platform to do this because I can talk to you a little bit more personally and get off kind of the stories and Instagram time lapses that I do like on a regular basis. So, first of all, I just wanted to say hi if you haven't ever seen me. Um, I am Philip. I am an artist in Hermosa Beach, and um, I do appreciate you following along and checking out all the videos. Kind of keeps me going. And for 2018, I'm just gonna try to talk to you a little bit more on YouTube and give you some tips and techniques that you can uh, try out for yourself. So um, the biggest question I always get is what types of brushes I use in my videos, and there's always. Um, usually about two types that I typically use. I have three um, brands that I, I use, but um, there's two that you probably see the most. And I'm gonna start with the first one, which is the Princeton Heritage Brush. And it's a synthetic sable brush. These are all my brushes for, these are just for uh, watercolor. But anyways, um, these are synthetic sable from Princeton and they are uh, round brushes. And round is just a type of the brush. Um, they have like flat and um, angular, some of these other different types of brushes out there. But for watercolors, and you've probably seen a lot of these on Instagram with a lot of the influencers, um, they use probably round brushes the most. And I'm gonna talk to you about the three sizes that you could probably start out with. And, Let's see, I'm gonna grab just a few of these. And I like to start off, or at least when I started off uh, watercoloring, I had I had maybe like one or two brushes, and I noticed that that's all I really needed to do what I was doing with a lot of my cactus videos. Um, so I've kind of learned that that's probably all you really need. Now don't get, um, don't get overwhelmed with how many brushes I have here. I do have a lot of brushes only because I, try to teach some other people that come over and um, I do like to bounce around and I do have a brush problem as far as buying them. So anyways, the three types of brushes that I like to um, tell people to get are a very small or fine detail brush, a medium sized brush, and a very large brush. And to see that up close, here's a round one. And this is pretty good for um, details that you'd like to do, like if you're doing a cactus, this would be a really good brush to do some of the dots on for the, um, you know, the pricks and stuff like that. And then when you go up for a medium sized brush, I tell people to get usually like a three to six, depending on, you know, how big your piece of paper is and how much you wanna paint. This is around six right here, which is, you know, a pretty good medium sized brush. I would say it's even like a little bit tends to be a little bit on the large side. So, you know, like maybe a four, let's find a four. Here's a four. This is a really nice brush. And you can tell I use it a lot compared to these because you can see a lot of the um, tint of the green. And I like to use this brush mainly to get a lot of uh, the main color in there. And even when I'm bringing some of the other types of pigments, if I do a, a, a green, a nice like shade of green, I'll bring in some of the other tones of like maybe some yellows in there just to like kind of bring some more color to it. And this is a really good brush to do that. So if you're doing a cactus yay big, this is like the main brush that you'd probably use. The fine detail brush is something that you would do like all the pricks with or some of the gouache, like white gouache parts. And then um, the, la the last or third brush that I would recommend to go out and buy is a large brush. And I would recommend, now this is a this is a really large brush, this is a 24. I would recommend going with like a 12. And this is something that you would see a lot of those um, watercolorists that do the loose florals and the big washes. Um, this is the style of brush that they're using. Now it's pretty big, you can get a pretty good um, tip out of it, but this holds a lot of water and a lot of pigment where you can do that large wash for the petals, for the leaves, and you can continue to keep going with both sides 
and you can fill a pretty big size piece of paper um, with this brush. And I have done um, a lot of loose florals using this style brush. So if you're looking to do that kind of um, artwork, I recommend definitely picking one of these up. And as you can, I mean, as you basically can probably already tell, the smaller the brush, the cheaper they are, and the larger that they they are, the more expensive. But um, typically, like Blick, you can go pick these up and get a pretty good deal. I think like last week I picked up five brushes and got like 50% off on, on them because I bought five instead of one. It was some crazy deal. I don't know if they're doing it anymore. But um, now I'm gonna go into the second style brush that I like to use. And like I said, these are synthetic. So it's like fake hair. The, the ones that I like are the Windsor and Newton um, Series 7. And these are actually like, they're fine sable, like Kalinsky sable. So basically it's real, you know, hair, which is crazy, right? To think, you know, this is a really good brush. Um, but the, the fine sable, there's something about it where a small fine brush like this, this is a round one to compare. You can tell like there's a little bit more with this one, there's a little bit more hair to pick up water and pigment. So you can kind of do a lot more detail without having to go back and forth from your palette, from the water tray or whatever. You can kind of stay on the paper and do a lot of the fine details you want without having to go back and forth. And that's what I have found why I like these a lot. And there's something to do with, I think I read like some of the fine sable that has, you know, like that they use in here. Um, it's typically used like in the wild that like it holds water or can hold water better. So um, if you're looking for a cheap way to go, definitely go with the Princeton Heritage. If you're looking for maybe like a little bit more of a professional brush, definitely go with the Windsor & Newton Series 7. They're a lot more expensive. So I only have maybe three that I use. Just like I told you, you can use uh, just three styles, like get a very fine one medium one and a large one and that's what I did with these I didn't buy any more although I think I will this year um, and uh, so those are the two style brushes there's one other style brush that I did mention it's a third style um, and it's from Isabay and they're I'm not too familiar I haven't read a lot of information on these but I've purchased two recently and I've been using them a lot more than any other brush and I have found that these mop style brushes can hold a ton of water and when they do get wet the tip on these gets super fine where you could do almost detail work that the round uh, ones could do so I have I have found these to be very awesome try picking one of these up if you can um, and try it out and then um, so those are the three style brushes or the three brand brushes that I like to use they're a little bit different um, in size I don't typically use like wash brushes too much because I don't do a lot of wet on wet um, tell me if you do and if you have any um, if you have any recommendations on what style brush or what brand brush I should use tell me in the comments below and I'll check it out if you have any other questions on what style brushes um, that you see here let me know also in the comments and please subscribe I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of these vlogs this year so come back and check them out and I appreciate everything thank you for following and for more check me out on Instagram Bolter Design Co and again I'm Philip thank you very much